everyone. This is Angie at Stamping with Amore and I have another uh, gift box or treat box to share with you today and it's this cute, I'm so excited to show you this because I personally love this little box. I just love the eight-sided boxes and it has this little lid and I stick some little treats in there and I really love this box and I'm going to show you today how to make this. It was inspired by um, a fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Her name's Tracy and she used this bottom part but she made um, like a little cup out of it. And I love the this shape of this box so I thought man I have to make a lid out of that for that. And so this is what I came up with and I just love how it turned out. So I'm going to show you this and we're just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to need a piece of eight and a quarter by four and a half piece of cardstock. You can use whatever um, you want. This is Tangerine Tango. And then you're going to need for the lid another piece that's nine and an eighth by two and a half. And um, I'm using the new Watercolor Wonder um, designer series paper, and I am so in love with it. This one is um, one of the patterns that's on there, and today I'm going to show you the same pattern, but in a different color. It's this um, Tangerine Tango and Daffodil Delight, and I just love this new watercolor paper. I'm sure I'm going to be buying another pack because I love it so much. All of the um, designs are so pretty. So anyway, we're going to get started and I'm going to start and I'm going to show you the bottom part of the box first. So we're going to take this eight and a half, or it's an eight and a quarter, I'm sorry, by four and a half. Eight and a quarter by four and a half. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to score down this long side and um, we're going to score it at one and a half. So let's do that. And then this is so easy because what we're going to do now is we're going to score it at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, and I didn't open up my trimmer here. Seven, and then eight. Let's get it just right. And it's going to leave that little quarter of an inch, and it's going to be uh, where your flap is. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and trim off this little bottom piece right here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just fold on all these score lines. It's just going to make it a little bit easier for you to see. And then this is the other way. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut each one of these lines up to this fold right here. So we're just going to cut each one all the way up to that score line, the one and a half inch score line. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some sticky strip and I'm going to put it on that quarter inch. And this fits perfect because it, it's a quarter of an inch wide. And we're going to line this up. seal that and then this is going to be the bottom. Now this part I'm the way I did it is I used sticky strip and I put sticky strip on 
three sides right here. But I'm going to use my snail because it'll take quite a bit longer to um, do it with the sticky strip. And you know you want to use the sticky strip for sure to hold this down. Now I'm only putting it on three sides because the top one you're going to have to do a little bit different. So you're going to take this flap and you're going to line it up with the opposite flap. Now don't force these because you want it to stay octagonal. <laughs> I guess that's what you would say. But see you just um, fold it back down like that and then take the other one the opposite side and make sure you line these up real good because it's going to make a difference. You don't want your box to be lopsided. Just don't force uh, force it. And see how easy and then now this one I'm going to have to put the snail or sticky strip on this side because that's going to fold over and you want it to fold like that. And see how easy that was? Isn't that cute? The first thing um, that I did and I didn't show you here I should have go, went ahead already and put on my little mat pieces because it's easier to do it before you fold up the box. You can do it either way but it's, it's a little bit easier. So um, I'm going to set that aside for just a minute and we're going to go for the lid. And I already scored this and this one is a little bit trickier because you have to do um, the 1 16th rule is what I call it but the easiest way I can tell you to do it is um, you have to score this every one in six uh, one and one sixteenth so when you start you just score it and I'll put all the exact measurements but this is the easiest way that I found to do it so after you score that line just line that line up with the one sixteenth mark this way you don't have to go crazy like looking for the little marks on the side. This is the easiest way that I can tell you to do it. Um, I'm going to post um, the exact measurements if you'd rather have it that way. I'll post it on the video. But um, just keep scoring every 1 and 16th inches all the way across and you'll do it 8 times to the end. And then you're going to turn it long ways and you're going to score it at 1 inch. Um, all the way down the middle. Well it's actually not the middle, it's to the end. But um, And then you're going to have this extra little extra piece here. I'm going to go ahead and fold this and I'll show you. And on this one we're going to kind of do it a little bit the opposite. We're going to cut, um, let's see this, We're going to cut this, let's see, these are folding over. We're going to cut this longer piece off. I had to think about that for a second. I've done three of these already, but... Um, and also, we're going to cut down each score line. Now, this is the longer side. You want to leave the shorter side because that's going to be uh, the little edge. But we need these longer ones to fold over just like we did the box. So cut each one up. Okay, and then I'll put another piece of sticky strip on the end there. On this one, I'm just going to, it's a little bit wider, so I'm going to just put two little pieces because I don't want it to come apart. You never could use enough sticky strip. That's what that's my little motto. Okay, so then line that up and you're gonna have it just like this. And again, I'm gonna fold these over and I'm gonna put sticky strip on three sides. And you I'm using the snail of course, but I'm gonna use sticky strip for the and this is the same way you're gonna do it. You're gonna match up each side. See how that easy that comes apart. That's why I like to use sticky the sticky strip. 
And again, if you want to mat this first, you can mat it first. And I did do that. I thought it was a little bit easier to mat. And then this one, you're going to put it underneath this underneath side and then fold it over just like that. And this part we're going to cover with a... Um, I use this, it's the sixth circle in the circle collection of the framelits from Stampin' Up! And that's the size you're going to need for the top part. And see, I cut that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, set that on there and then I'm going to trim, trim away the, the other part. And that seems to fit really good, but that top fits right on top like that. And let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the matting. And for the, the box part, you're going to need 15 sixteenths by 2 and 3 quarters. So it's just a sixteenth smaller than 1 inch. That's the width of it. And then we're going to just put each one of these on here. Center it. Okay, so isn't that pretty? I just love this paper so much. And then um, on this top part, I used um, Tombow to glue the other one on, and it will hold a lot better if you use like a wet glue. Um, I just wanted to make sure it stayed, and then I let it dry. I'm going to do this real quick. But I just taking my little um, blade and I cut across each one like that and it just comes right off. I don't like to cut on this paper but I didn't bring my mat over here. I usually do it on a, on a mat that I have so you don't have cut several layers of paper. <laughs> And this does take a little bit longer than some of the boxes. And I'm being a little sloppy here, which I would take a lot more time. So when you do it, just take your time cutting it so all the edges match up. And you can see I was a little sloppy. About it. So you have the idea anyway. Um, and then this, these little pieces, you're going to need eight of them also. And this one's 15 sixteenths by 15 sixteenths. So it is the mark just before the one inch mark, if you don't know that. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick a little snail on each one of these. Put them around the edge here. And I try to line this bottom part up as best as I can. Okay, so there you have it, and it fits just like that. Isn't it adorable? I just love this octagon box, and um, I'm going to show you how I put the ribbon on. I just took a couple of glue dots, and um, I stuck one on the inside right here, like at the bottom on the inside. On each side, I, I put one of those glue dots just opposite of each other. And then I put one on the bottom, the very center. And this is a Tangerine Tango ribbon. And if you want this ribbon, I believe it's in the clearance rack right now. Um, I saw it in there the other day when I was looking, and I love this ribbon. But it is um, one of last year's celebration ribbons. So, and that's how I get the got the ribbon on there. And just stuck it on like that. Put the top back on. And then just bring your ribbon up. Let's 
see if I can tie a cute little bow. Usually when I'm on video, they don't want to tie like I like to tie them. I usually have to fool with them a few minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and just um, not fool with it. Clip the little tails off. And then um, I have this stamp set that I just got, and it's Love You More, and it's one of the Valentine's stamp sets. And I'm using this Made With Love, and this whole set is adorable. I love this bird. I haven't used them yet, but I'm going to. So um, this is available at Stamping Up also. And I'm going to stamp it with Tangerine Tango. Isn't that cute? And then um, use a one inch circle punch will fit it perfectly. And then I'm going to take some Tangerine Tango and I'm going to use this one and a quarter scalloped punch and cut a scallop. Use a Stampin' Dimensional to stick that on. And then what I did was, I'm going to use a dimensional for this one. On this other one, I should have showed you how to do it. It's the cutest little thing. It's one of those wobbly, um, you can make your own little wobble. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really cute, but it'll, it'll, it wobbles a little bit. This one I'm just going to stick on with the dimensional because... I didn't think about showing you all that in this video because it um, this video is going to take a little bit longer. Let's do it on this side. I really want to mess with this bow, but I don't really have time to do that. But that's it. It's just that easy. And you can stick treats. It's big enough to stick a little present in there and everything. Um, so that's the two that I made. If you need any supplies to make either one of these projects, I'm telling you, you would love the watercolor wonder paper. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, I'm just using um, regular the regular cardstock, and it makes it pretty sturdy. And so if you need any supplies to make any of these projects, please go to my blog at stampingwithamora.com. You can go to my shop button. I, I have a new... Um, program that will let you just click on the items for the project because I'll list them um, all everything that you need on there you can just click on it it'll take you right to my shop to purchase it and um, so yeah I hope you all enjoyed it I loved making this box and I know you will too so thank you for watching okay. bye